All right, it's time for some piano. <laughs> there we go. And let me switch that. Hi. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. I'm so excited today because we are learning one of the most iconic um, TV uh, themes um, of, I guess, my generation, uh, which is the Office theme song. <laughs> it's so much fun, and I'm very excited to teach this one to you guys today. But before we get started, if you could like and share this video, that helps me reach even more students across the globe, so you're helping me out a lot. If you don't mind subscribing, that's also very helpful because it keeps up with my metrics and lets me know how many people are actually enjoying my lessons. Super easy, the button's right there, you can do it. <laughs> Next, um, I have a Discord server, okay? So Discord is super important to me because this is where my piano learning community lives. Um, we are nearing 300 members and I'm so happy because that's where we have the most fun. We interact with each other, we watch each other playing um, our piano songs and you even get feedback from me to improve your songs, okay? Find the um, invitation link in the campsite link in the description of this video, okay? Excellent. And last but definitely not least, I'm on Patreon. So if you really enjoy my lessons and you're ready to make a financial commitment on a monthly basis to me, browse my Patreon. I've got different tiers from $5 a month all the way up to $90 a month if you're looking for some private lessons, okay? I do have spots available for that still, so take a peek and see what works for you. I'd love to see you on my patrons list. All right, we've got to get started, okay? So, of course, I've got my file folder. I've printed out my music, and let's get started. Couple things that we want to talk about before we actually jump in. This is a rather quick song, right? So the tempo marking has quarter note equals 170. Psh, that's like crazy fast. Now, when you're learning the piece, do not worry. It's okay if you're learning it at a slower pace. Once you've got the hands together and you're feeling good about your song, you can start pushing that tempo up and up and up to reach it close to the original song, okay? So don't worry about that. Next, I see in the key signature, I see an F sharp. So that's telling me that this song is going to be in G major. G major has one sharp in it, and it's that F sharp. So be very aware of that. Anytime you come across an F in your song, it's going to be an F sharp, okay? Very nice. Now there's a series of um, really interesting note patterns in here with ties and things like that. We will go over all of that just in a bit, okay? So let's start with the song with the right hand to begin, okay? I'll switch to piano view so we can figure out these notes together, okay? Let's do it. <laughs> I hope you're excited. <laughs> all right, excellent. So looking here at the beginning, we are going to be starting at this D up here, D and B, and we've outlined a G position, okay? Now I'm going to go through it pretty slowly here, and we're going to go through the whole song. So I will be saying some select notes, but pay very close attention to those intervals, okay? Some are thirds, some are fourths, all right? And don't forget those F sharps when they come up, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, and four, and. Hold. F sharp. Hold. Fourth G. Fourth. Hold. Thank you. 
arpeggio. Isn't it fun? <laughs> yeah, as you bump that tempo up while you're learning it, it's so fun to play that final um, arpeggio at the end because that's like, you know, the title comes in the office, right? <laughs> it's so fun. So that's a sort of very basic rundown of the right hand. Now you noticed, you saw those parts where it's got some ties, right? So let's go in and analyze those ties, okay? Beginning on the second line, we have in measure five, the high G, which is that continual melody, that high G is tied to the very next measure, measure six. So you're holding that G for four beats instead of two, okay? I'm gonna circle that because I want you to make sure that's that's the upper voice, okay? You wanna make sure you can hear that. Now, if you're having a hard time holding that, use the damper pedal um, for some help, right? Because if it's gonna help you sustain that note across the measure, use it, right? It's a tool. Just because there's no pedal written in this song doesn't mean you can't use it. It just means that, you know, you gotta use the tools that are available to you to help that melody sustain itself, okay? Now, continuing on, the third line at measure nine and 10, there it is again, it's the high G, it's being held out. Go ahead and circle it too. You really want those voices to be heard, okay? You know what I'm gonna say. Look at measure 13 and 14 on line three. It's there again, okay? This is a pattern, okay? So once you learn the intricacies of your fingering and the pedal to help you hold it, it'll be a lot easier because it's played multiple times, okay? So I'm gonna circle it again at 13 and 14, and again, it's right there at 17 and 18, okay? Wonderful, okay? Now the eighth note pattern that happens after that tie varies, okay? The first time it happens, you've got F sharp G, F sharp D, right? Right, that happens on line two, and then it happens again at line th uh, four. <laughs> so it alternates, right? Line two and four are like this. So I'm gonna put a bracket around these so I know they match, okay, two and four. Now, looking at lines three and five, those eighth notes that follow the tied high G, those match too. It changes F sharp G, A, F sharp, It changes there. So instead of using brackets, which I use for lines two and four, I'm actually going to do something different. I am going to um, circle those instead, okay? Just so I know that they match. There it is, okay. So let's play the, the right hand of the Office theme song once more so that you are fully aware of what's going on, okay? Let's do it. I'm so excited. This is like one of my favorite shows. It's my husband's favorite show to watch. And he can watch any episode of The Office and he's like in a good mood. It's really awesome. So <laughs> I'm glad we're doing this one. All right. So starting at that beginning, okay? Use the damper pedal to your advantage. All right. Let's see how it goes. One and two and three and four and...
arpeggio right there. That is outlining the G major arpeggio. So you're thinking of those notes that consist of the one chord, um, which would be G, B, D, and it's sort of flourishing going up, right? Some of the notes are skipped. So we've got G, G, B, D, G, B, G, B, D, G. Really nice. <laughs> so just be aware of that arpeggio, okay? Wonderful, okay. Let's, let's hop into the left hand, okay? Now the left hand isn't quite as difficult as the right hand because it's more of a foundational, um, a chord foundation note, right? It's telling you the chord with just single notes or octaves. It's really not gonna be that tricky, okay? Once you've figured out those notes, you're gonna feel really good about them, okay? So let's hop into the left hand. We'll switch back to piano view and we can uh, have a little fun there, okay? Here we go. <laughs> All right, so I see it's got the bass clef, right? And we are going to be, I'm gonna actually start with my finger two on the G, okay? Because I know that I'm gonna be traveling higher in that, um, the bass staff, and I don't wanna be caught off guard with like funky fingers, so let's see how it goes, ready? One and two and ready and go. And G, two, three, four, up to B, two, three, four, down to E, two, three, four, C, two, C, two, quarter notes. G, 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 up to B, down to E. to ignore that <laughs> yeah it's early <laughs> that's why I teach piano right now right I'm not doing teaching voice uh, my asthma has a lot to do with that but no worries that was fun and it wasn't that tricky okay single notes going from whole notes then half notes to quarter you see how it's building in rhythmic uh, anticipation and then it expands to octave quarter notes beautiful huh it's a fun song, it really is. Let's see if we can play uh, maybe the first three lines. We'll do it slowly, hands together. So you can hear how it's supposed to line up, okay? I'm not gonna do it as fast as I just did because I want you to see the makeup of how this is building in intensity, okay? First three lines only, and then we'll continue with the next three lines, okay? Let's do it. Wonderful, so here we go. I love this song. Starting with that finger two. I am in my position. I'm gonna count off more slowly, okay? The first three lines only, here we go. One, two, and three, and four, and.
that's the first three lines, okay? See what I mean? It's building an intensity, it's growing, right? That final measure at the end of line three, measure 12, that's when those octaves come in for the left hand, right? It's coming, it's getting bigger, it's getting more exciting. The anticipation is building to our favorite TV show ever. <laughs> so yes, it's really getting there. But do you see what I mean by starting slowly, right? You wanna match up those big beats in the left hand to the eighth notes that correspond with it in the right hand. Now you did notice some of those ties up high. I had a hard time catching it with the pedal. So I have to be very cognizant of the fact that those pedal, the, when I press the pedal down, it's got to catch that high G or else it fades away. So you'll have to press it immediately when you play those high notes, okay? You can do this, all right? It's just gonna take time. It'll take some practice, but I know if you are watching this lesson, you've already made the decision that you're gonna learn this song and we're gonna do this, right? You can always hop on Discord, ask questions, post little videos of yourself playing different sections if you need help on anything, okay? That's what that's there for, okay? Let's try doing those first three lines again. I'm gonna do it a hair faster, okay? And then we'll move on to the second um, group of three lines, okay? So we can get that pretty ending. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, wonderful, here we go. Starting there at the beginning. I've got my right foot on that damper pedal, ready to go. One, two, and three, and four. group of three lines okay so we can end this nice and strongly I'm gonna play it nice and slowly and then I'll play it once more just a hair faster so you can hear it okay let's work on it together we're gonna start right at the measure 13 at the beginning okay here we go all right looking good measure 13 one and two and ready and go and smile and so excited so you're getting there okay that was nice and slowly playing measures 13 to the end okay it's nice because it's a, a shorter theme right it's not like crazy long so um, you're gonna get there you're gonna be able to play this whole thing and then you can like pull it out at your very first gathering after all this virus goes away right <laughs> you'll be like guess what I learned piano <laughs> And they're gonna like laugh and have a good time and they're gonna be very happy that you can play something so cool right all right let's try again for measure 13 to the end we'll do it a hair faster it's gonna be a little bit more tricky because a little trickier because of those octaves in the left hand okay you're gonna have to move your entire left hand to reach those octaves okay you can do this 
I know I've said that like a hundred times. <laughs> but it's because I really believe it. Okay? <laughs> Let's work. Here we go. Looking here at the amazing measure 13 to the end. Let's see how it goes, okay? One and two and ready and go. And <laughs> You're gonna do a wonderful job on this one, okay? Now, to close this lesson, let's play the whole thing all the way through. Bear with me, if I make a mistake, I'm just gonna keep going. I'll fix it and then I'll keep going, okay? Um, it's a fun little song. Um, it shouldn't take more than, what, like a minute and a half to play through, okay? Let's do this together. All right. The Office theme song. Here we go. I hear Michael Scott coming down the hall. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. lesson. It was a blast. One of my favorite shows out there. So if you enjoyed this lesson, you know the drill. Why not sign up as a patron? Help me keep my studio going, keep all of this stuff happening every week. Uh, we have a very good time. Um, and I love to see um, some of my YouTube viewers um, end up on my patron list. It's so phenomenal to see your names and to get to know you guys. So pick something that works for you. Five bucks a month, that helps. All the way up to $90 a month if you're looking for some private lessons, okay? Awesome, very good. Another quick reminder, subscribe. I don't really have to say this too much, but I do have to mention it at least once. The button's right there. You can hit subscribe and help me um, reach more learners out there, okay? Awesome, and then of course, I mentioned Discord. Discord, again, that's the place, the hub. If you wanna get some help, if you wanna get some um, guidance or feedback on your playing, hop onto the Discord server because that's where we live. Like, that's the fun place. That's where the heart of my community is. So, and I wanna see you on there too. So go ahead and get that invite link and get yourself on Discord, okay? Very good. Thank you so much. This was so fun. I love it. It's excellent to be able to bring you these really fun uh, songs week after week, okay? I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.